everyone, it's good to see you all again. I'm Natasha and welcome back. So today we're going to continue. Yeah, of course, our differentiation topic. So there's one more topic left to, and uh, that we're going to discuss today, which will be uh, rules of differentiation. So uh, in our today's video, we're just mainly going to discuss about three rules, okay? So there are mainly three rules in differentiation that we'll be discussing about. So uh, first one is the uh, product rule. Second one is question rule, and third one is chain rule. Yeah, yes, of course a chain. Okay, so whatever, without wasting our time, let's get started. Okay, so first rule which we're going to discuss about is going to be product rule. Okay, so here we have the product rule. Uh, yeah. Product rule okay so what is this uh what is a like what is in this product rule so we can obviously see this it's related to some product multiplication right so yeah it's actually similar to that okay so we're here uh saying that let y be a function okay uh let's say let y is equal to is equal to u v okay here u v and these are our functions we can say right so u u is uh, will be considered as the first function which we can say as f f and v as the second function which will be s f okay is it clear okay let's move on yeah yeah right whatever Okay, so we're here saying that let y be is equal to let y is equal to uh let y be equal to u v. Okay, okay, let's go. Uh, so next step, which we'll be saying, so how we like uh, what's going to be our final answer? Like what kind of rule, what kind of formula we can say we will get? Right, so let's see. So here we have this x, oh, x of course, as we have taken y. So here we're going to say that dy by dx is equal to, is equal to, okay, so now here we're saying this dy by dx, dy upon dx, okay. Uh, yeah. So, the uh, thing is we're going to have is, so we have considered the first function and the second function, ff and sf, which I already discussed. So, here we're going to have this rule. You're like, you know, just, uh, we have to just remember it, right? Like, memorize it, I don't know. Uh, whatever is suitable for you, whatever word is suitable for you, okay? Yeah. ff, uh, d, Oh, wait a second. Let me change the marker. Yeah. Okay, so I was saying FF uh, D by DX. Okay, so here this DY, uh, here we will have... Okay, so here let me tell you that there will be nothing except D. You know, if we're like... A, a, expecting something to be there like no there's not going to be anything there there will be only d by by dx and that's it we're done okay ff dot okay so it's being multiplied you can say multiply dot so here i'm also going to use dot so ff dot d by dx dot sf sf is for the second function right Okay, let's do it. So S F plus plus S F D by D X and then F F. So here this formula we're going to get. Okay, is it clear? Okay, 
Right. Oh, yeah. First of all, let me remove these brackets. We don't need them here. Okay. This is just going to be S F. Okay. So here, uh, symbolically, according to U and V, as our first and second function, we will write U. U. Okay. So we have to know that D by D X is here for, uh, you know. So here, D is being multiplied by S F. So whatever our SF, our second function is, we are going to we are going to write that function with this D one. Okay, this is what the rule is about. So you, uh, you D SF is our V DV by DX. Oh, uh, let me just write this U here. Okay, in the mid, it's being multiplied. You know, U dot DV by DX plus Second function, which is v, v uh, by d f f is u, u by d x, and so this is going to be our formula, our rule. Of course, I always say that as a rule. Okay, so this is going to be our rule. I hope it is clear. Yeah. So whatever. Oh, I hope I'm audible. You know. Oh, okay. Whatever. Uh yeah, okay. So this, this this was our first rule. Now let's move on to second rule, which is going to be question rule. Okay, let's just get over with these things. Second one is question rule. Question rule. So here in question rule, we will just do the same concept, the same thing, but here we will be subtracting it. And there's a little bit of difference. Let's see what is it. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. So here we will have our denominator and numerator, right? As we are saying that let y be equal to u by v. Okay. Let's do this. So here now we have this condition. So for this, dy by dx is going to be. So here we'll use denominator and numerator. So for denominator, I'm going to say d e m, and for numerator, num n u m. Okay. I hope it's clear. Let's do it. D. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. This is not going to be in bracket. The first ones are not going to be in bracket. D E N. This is the denominator. D E N. So here, of course, D by D X will come for sure. Okay. Yeah. So D E N. D by D X. S F, which is going to be our numerator. N U M minus minus. Denominator is in first, so it's going to be numerator then. So n u m, uh, n u m dot d by d x, and in bracket we're going to have our denominator. Come on, let's do it. And in the denominator, so this is going to be our denominator. So here we will have our d e n denominator square. Okay, denominator square, whole square we can say. So this is going to be our rule, and if I'm going to write it in this way, so let's do a denominator here. Our denominator is v, v d, uh, v d numerator is u, d, v d u by, uh, by d x, by d x. Oh wait a second, let me just write it in small. Let me write it smaller, okay? I don't have much space left. Yeah. So it's going to be v d u by d x. Then here numerator, which is oh, I've already written. So minus numerator u u d uh, d v by d x upon v square. Okay, I'll just clear. Is it? Okay, I hope it is. As it was really easy, there was nothing to be confused on. Okay, now the third one, which we're going to discuss about, is chain rule. Yep, we'll be discussing about chain rule. So, 
chain rule. In chain rule, uh, you know, we have some different kind of case. Okay, let's do it. So first of all, in chain rule, we really like uh, having some different kind of thing. So what do you like think about this? Hearing this word chain, chain rule, like something connected. Oh, isn't it a chain? Okay, let's discuss it further. Oh, just wait a second, let me check the camera, you know, is it like clear or what? Okay, it's absolutely clear and let's move on with our chain rule. So, let's go. So, let's say that let Y be a function of U and let U let U be a function of X. Okay, so what you're saying, what we're here saying is we're going to say that y is going to be the function of u and u is going to be the function of x, okay? I hope it's clear. So what I can write from this thing is that dy by dx is equal to du by dx dot, dot means multiply, of course, into, into, okay, into. Yeah, du by dx dot uh, db by dx. Okay, is it clear? This is what chain rule mainly is about. Okay, but this is not the main one. The main one is going to come right here. Okay, so according to this, so this you know what I can say, function, equation, whatever. What can I say? So let's say that let y is equal to n x okay oh, oh wait a second from where did this x come oh yeah okay so let y be equal to u to the part n okay this is actually right this is actually right okay so what's going to be d uh, by dx? d by by dx. What is it going to be? So I'm going to say d by dx u to the power n is equal to. Okay, so here according to this thing, what we can see here is we're having our u, which is the first function, n which is its exponent, its power, okay? So what we're here saying is y is going to be the function of u, okay? It's clear. And u is going to be the function of x. u is going to be the function of x. So what will we get? We will get n, x, n minus 1 dot, dot dy by dx. Oh, oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's going to be dot du by dx, okay? And one thing here, nx. What I'm here saying that u is going to be the function of x. So, I will just write here u, not x, right? If I, like, say that, uh, let x be the function of u, then I could have write x here, Okay? But here, in, uh, but in that case, you know, our x would have been considered as a, uh, you know, as a first function. Okay? That's a different case. So, let's just use u here. So, this is going to be our third rule. d by dx u to the power n is equal to n u to the power raised to the power n minus 1 dot d u by dx. Okay? I hope it is clear. I hope it's clear. Okay? Everything's clear. Just have a look and uh, let's see what is it. Okay? Yeah. So. 
Okay, so O dy by dx is equal to du by dx. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, just wait a second. Like, I don't know. Why is there a mistake here? Okay, I mean, I should have changed the sentence, but it's okay, it's okay. Let's just do it here, okay? Let's just not get confused. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing because I'm also getting confused in this thing. Okay, whatever. Let's study it together uh, as we're discussing right here. Okay, yeah. So it's going to be du. So du is not going to be here. First of all, we're talking about y. Y. I mean, not that why. I mean, I'm talking about this y. Yeah. This y. Wait a second. Okay, okay. Uh, wait a second. Yeah. So what I'm saying, y is going to be the function of u. Okay. u is going to be the function of x. So what I just repeat, I just say here that if I like, uh, if I'm about to write uh, that x be the function of u, then I would have write x u, right? Okay, but as u is our function here, so what I'm going to write here is going to be dy by, okay, now the place of dx or du will come. U be a function of x, and that's what we're saying. So it's going to be du dot d. Now d will come right here, and a denominator will have our dx. So this is what exactly we're having. Okay, I was even confused in it. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> yeah. So it's going to be dy by dx is equal to dy by du dot du by dx and i hope it is clear now and so this is what we're going to say through the third rule and no problem as we're going to uh discuss some questions also oh, i mean but not in this video of course so whatever we're like done with our today's topic and i think that's enough and you know, we even got confusing chain rules. So I think I'm going to discuss it again. Yeah, we will be like discussing it again. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take question. And if it's clear to us, then we'll move forward. And yeah, we're also going to discuss integration. And one new topic. Log. Logarithm. We can say anything. Log. Of course, our next topic is going to be related to integration or log. Oh, I mean, I don't have to write it. Okay, so uh, whatever. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.